everyone, welcome back. My name is Brogan and I am a lifestyle and travel content creator here on YouTube. I also write a blog and you can find me on social media at BroganTXO. And I recently went out to California with my boyfriend Benji. We had 10 days for the most amazing holiday and trip where we did Disneyland, Universal Studios Hollywood, and we explored a large portion of Los Angeles as well. We got so much done and we did loads of fun things, which is what I'm going to be sharing with you in this video today. If you do want to check out a bit more of our trip, I do have vlogs that you can find on my YouTube channel, so head on over. But without further ado, here is how to maximise your time and trip to Los Angeles. So before I begin, just a little background. We stayed in a, an Airbnb, which is a way of renting somebody's apartment. Uh, you can obviously stay in hotels and find something that works for you, but Airbnb was perfect for us. And we stayed just outside of Universal Studios Hollywood in Universal City. It was great. It was a really good location and we really enjoyed it. So that's something to consider. And also we used Uber and Lyft, which are car sharing app services. We could have hired a car but this was much more convenient for us and we didn't have to worry about parking or getting gas or anything like that so that is how we did our trip and then to maximize our time we actually had the go la card that is available from attraction tickets direct i say go la card it's not actually a physical card because it's a digital e-ticket that's gate ready that you can have on your phone downloaded it's so good now you can use this to have unlimited access to over 30 of los angeles top attractions for the duration of your ticket. As long as you arrive before half past five, you can go to as many places as you choose and there are so many things on the list. If you get a second, head on over, the link will be in the description and check out the list of things that you can do. Everything from open top buses, museums, aquariums, but for us, we are theme park junkies and we love a roller coaster. We headed to Six Flags Magic Mountain. We did the Warner Bros Studio tour, which was amazing. Universal Studios Hollywood and all that kind of fun stuff so I'm gonna be talking you through what we did with our cards but the card actually gives you up to 55% on combined admission prices you can actually skip the line at some select attractions and you can get exclusive discounts on shopping and food so it really is the best way and whenever you speak to people I've been in many forums and groups on Facebook and people always say how should I book my tickets this is the best way because you can have that flexibility we actually arrived at Six Flags Magic Mountain at 5 p.m. went straight in and just used our go LA cards and it was so handy and we didn't have to worry about booking those tickets in advance we made that decision on the day and I loved it so I'm going to talk you through a bit more about where we went and how we maximized the the card but the link will be in the description if you are interested in getting yourself one so I have actually written down in my phone in my notes 10 different places that we went to using the card or just generally on our adventures so not all of these um, were using the go la card but most of them are so the first place that i had to mention was obviously universal studios hollywood i have actually done a whole separate tips video for attraction tickets direct youtube channel here so if you want to check that out it'll be linked below and if you are interested in going then if you book a three five or seven day pass the go la card you can actually get a one day free ticket to Universal Studios Hollywood right now. This offer is one of the best I have seen and instantly you will be able to save some great money if you choose to do this. So we personally found that one day meant you could do a lot at Universal Studios. It was honestly a fantastic place. You've got the world famous studio tour, you've got shows, rides, great restaurants. We even got to ride the brand new Jurassic World, the ride. If you haven't been, you are gonna love it. It really is a great day out for any age. There is something for everyone here and we loved it. We actually did a day and a half. They also have City Walk just outside the theme park so you can do all the shopping and you can eat all the great restaurants and don't forget to experience it at night as well because it's just so lovely. So that would definitely be the top of my 
recommendation list. <laughs> the second place we went to was Warner Bros Studio Tour. Now this we did book in advance, you just have to email them and get a time and date booked in. So we did this and went at about 8am on a Saturday and it was so good. We had a tour that lasted around three hours and we got to go um, backstage and look at some of the sound stages where popular TV shows and films have been created. Sets such as Friends, and we saw Pretty Little Liars so if you like those kind of shows then you will really enjoy this tour. So we drove around in a golf buggy style cart and we had a really lovely guy that gave us loads of fun facts and information. It was a great experience. I couldn't actually sadly film any of it. They did let me take some pictures but there wasn't any filming allowed so can't show you too much of this but if you want to check out what the real working TV film sets and movie film sets look like then you definitely need to be going here because it was it was brilliant really really good my next tip is to go and try something different now we didn't get the chance to do these but it was on my bucket list and as part of the go la card you can actually do the open top buses there are a few different ones available so check the list but you can hop on at somewhere like santa monica pier and you can do the hollywood um famous celebrity houses tours there are quite a few options and these are great especially if you want to get around you literally hop on hop off and and I thought this was a really great way to see a lot of Los Angeles. But also another thing that I really enjoyed, which we didn't get the chance to do, but there are scooters everywhere and you can download lots of different apps, something like Lyft or Bird. You basically use the scanner on the app on the scooter, scan it, and then you can rent a scooter and get around everywhere, which I thought was also really fun. So something else that you could do as well. The next place we went to was the OUE Sky Space. This was high on my bucket list of places I wanted to go. This has been made famous famous specifically on Facebook you might have seen people sliding down a glass slide with a beautiful view of Los Angeles we spent about an hour maybe hour and a half here just admiring the view we had a drink we just explored we took loads of pictures and it was really beautiful and a great way to utilize our go LA cards so if you are interested in something like that you basically can go up different floors and we did more than just look at the view there were loads of other things to experience interactive like machines and everyone was very friendly and we did do the slide may I just add and it was great fun so it was over really quick I would have loved it to have been like the whole duration of the building but I'm sure that wouldn't have been possible but it was really good fun next as part of the go LA card you can actually book in and go on tours around some of the famous theatres unfortunately we went to do this and there was actually a premiere for the new Fast and Furious film being set up down Hollywood Boulevard however I did take Benji to the Chinese theatre we went to the Dobie Theatre and the El Capitan Theatre, which are all very famous and where they hold a lot of the premieres for films. So we went in and we, we could see around some of them, but most of them you do have to like book in and you can do this all on your card. Um, I did actually try just to check for reference and at the Chinese Theatre, there are people just standing outside. If you walk up, show them your ticket, they can book you in on the next tour. For us, it was like 12.30 or something, um, but we ended up choosing to move on and go to the OUE Sky Space in the end but it's an option it's there and it just goes to show how much you can maximize the card and the kind of experiences and things you can do with it my next one you've heard me reference is six flags magic mountain this was so spontaneous we decided on the day we went at 5 p.m at night and left about 9 or 10 it was so good i honestly i'm so glad we did this and it wouldn't have been possible if we didn't have that flexibility to just go using those go la cards so six flags is known for having thrill roller coasters if you are a theme park lover and you really enjoy roller coasters then you'll love it here we went on some like crazy coasters that i have never done before and it will be an experience i remember forever because of how spontaneous and fun it was and that is something that you just can't explain unless you experience it. But being able to be in the taxi with Benji and giving him my phone with the list of all the places we could go, I was like, go on, where should we go? We can go anywhere. And he was like, anywhere on this list. I was like, mm-hmm, as long as we get there before half five, we can go to any of these places. And he was like, wow. <laughs> it was so 
good. So yeah, I had to mention it because Six Flags was really fun and I can't wait to go back one day. Another place we went to I wanted to mention was shopping. We did a little bit of shopping, probably too much shopping. <laughs> We went to the Citadel outlets and there are a few different outlets and shopping centres but we really loved it here. There was a good selection of American shops we can't get home, we got some real bargains, Benji got loads of like t-shirts, I got a nice pair of jeans and we really just loved having a couple of hours to eat and shop at the Citadel outlets. So it's a little bit further out, it took about 30 minutes from Santa Monica. I think from memory. Um, so it was a bit further out in not the middle of nowhere, but it was a journey and um, it was worth the journey though. So if you are interested in like going shopping, I'd highly recommend those outlets. My next one is Santa Monica Pier. I have actually been to Venice Beach and seen the Muscle Beach and the people that work out on the beach, you know, the famous gym. Um, but this strip of beach is massive and I've never done Santa Monica Beach and the pier. Something that I was so keen to try was the rides at the end of the pier and going on the famous ferris wheel so we went up to the ticket booth showed them the go la card and we actually got a wristband for unlimited access to the rides for free like as part of our card which was so good so we did this we mooched around we took some cute photos here and it, it was just a nice experience being able to say we went to santa monica beach and pier obviously you could have a beach day and go swimming and rent one of those scooters i mentioned and go to a restaurant nearby loads of great places to eat around there um but we ended up going to the outlets that day so i just wanted to mention it because again if you look into the card you can really do loads of different things with it which is what we did and I loved it. Another thing I really enjoyed doing was going to the Griffith Observatory. Now this is a free open museum for anyone who's into learning about space but also it's quite a good viewing spot if you want to see the Hollywood sign. We did end up using lift to take us a bit closer and we went to Lake Hollywood which is a park where you can see the sign even better but if you just want a glimpse of it and you want to go to the museum then the Griffith, Griffith Observatory is lovely and I'm really glad that we popped this in the agenda. And last on my list I wanted to recommend was the original farmers market. We spent about two hours here and I absolutely loved it. Great for us on the way to Santa Monica Beach. Uh, that's what I originally put in our plans but if you watch my vlogs you'll see I kind of mix things up. I wanted to let you know because it was open in July 1934 and it's a historic LA landmark with food stalls, sit down eateries, food vendors and lots of small businesses. Um, I ended up buying a couple of things in a few of the shops here but it was really lovely and a recommendation from someone that follows me who actually lives out in LA so thank you so much for that and I'm now resharing it to you guys because it was really lovely and it was worth a visit so I hope you've enjoyed hearing what we got up to in a brief kind of tips video here. I would love to know what you've enjoyed doing in Los Angeles and what you think of the Go LA car is that something you're going to be getting you can check the link in the description if you want to find out more and don't forget that deal if you book three or five or seven day ticket you can get that one day universal studios hollywood ticket which is absolutely fantastic so thank you so much for watching don't forget to check my videos out as well and i will see you very soon bye